Rachel. Um, I really like this orange. It just it just reads so much more as an orange. And I really like the way you have <clears throat> the caricature kind of, you know, going in this direction. It has a feeling of motion, which I think really works. Um, I'm going to just still, of course, offer more suggestions. I would make it bigger um, just because it's like you still you want this to be more about the caricature than about the background and again you can make it big bigger and it's just going to look like it's closer and you could have it coming off to even something you know something like this I would move it around um you know or you can even just rotate it too and see what it looks like um Anyway, so um, then it even looks more like it's um, walking. So I do think this is still um, a distraction with the the barn. I know you really like the barn. Um, so what I would continue to do is um, work on um, some adjustments, like go into the levels, um, you know, and just try to make it darker. See, this is just so strong that it's going to, yeah, that red is just, it's really hard to tone down the red. Um, so I would just work on other ways, um, you know, or again, if you made it even smaller, um, I know this is probably going to um, crop off, but um, if you make it smaller or find one that's smaller, um, it won't, it'll, it'll be more in the background, but it won't take away from the caricature so much because what this is it's so big um oops let me go back to the history and <clears throat> to go back and um go here um it's just so strong that it's taking away from the caricature i'm i mean maybe you can desaturate it a little bit i don't know there's there's things you can do um you could also blur it a little bit i'm just going to look at the u and saturation i'm going to bump the saturation down. I mean that's what it looks like when it's completely black and white. I mean that could even work too. Um, you could always go back in and paint the barn with a little color. It's just that the barn is so red and so strong it it takes away from the caricature. So um, that's my main suggestions with that. Um, so the next thing is just the text. I mean you could also dodge this or I mean burn this in so it's darker. Um, that tends to end up being, you know, a lot of work. Um, but again, when I wipe this barn out with my finger right here, it just looks, it, this just stands out so much more. Um, um, you could find another <clears throat> background image too with a smaller barn maybe. Um, the next thing um, that, that you should maybe do a little bit more work on is making the text stand out more. Um, if I turn off... Um, well, first of all, it's hard to read because there's not enough contrast. This one reads fine because it's light on on kind of a medium dark background. But when you have two colors that are you know similar in value, which means they're all kind of a middle gray color, you don't have enough um, texture. So even when I turn that off, that stands out a lot more than with the image on it. And this with grace too, um, you know, you could add. Where is your text? So you could add layer styles too to make it stand out. So I'm going to go up here under layer and I'm going to go to layer styles and I'm just going to say um, outer glow. That's a way, another way, that's cheesy, that's overdone. So just, um, you know, if you use any of these, use it with really, you know, um, you know, with um, sparingly. So anyway, something like that. Um, you know, can make it stand out. It doesn't have to be a white. Same with the other one. Um, let me go back to your glitter one. And again, I'll just go to layer style and I'm going to go back to outer glow. There's other, you know, there's other ones too. Like you can see all these other ones like stroke. And that doesn't work for that. And just, you know, if you, if you turn them on and play with them, you can really, you know, get a sense of what I'm talking about with, uh, with um, contrast. So again, and then you can always turn down the opacity too to get it where you want it. Um, this size is kind of big for that one. Um, so anyway, um, you kind of, I hope you're get, getting kind of what I'm saying. So again, if I turn off um, the glitter, I'm going to just turn off the effects and you can see that it becomes really hard to read 
now easier to read. So again, another thing you could do too is you could just change the whole. It won't let me do it because I don't have the um, I don't have the font. You can make the whole um, text white or something, and that would really work too. Um, okay, so that that's my main suggestions. I think you've you've really come a long way with this, and I think that. I think now I think your caricature is really pretty much done and it looks super cool. I still think the background is just a little bit too strong for the um, the caricature. Um, okay, so yeah, feel free to grab me on Hangouts too for any um, feedback, you know, for more feedback if you want. Um, okay, so yeah, this has been really fun to watch come together and yeah, I think it's really great and really creative. Um, okay, so um, yeah, nice job.